Hey guys, we're going to be covering um, sums and differences of thirds in this session. Uh, it would be wise to watch just the basic one before this video, uh, just to simplify thirds, just to help you out. But let's get started. Okay, in this example, I want to simplify square root of 50 minus square root of 8. Now I know that square root of 50, well 50 could be written as 25 times 2 and 8 could be written as 4 times 2. Notice that 25 and 4 are perfect squares, which means I could take square root of 25, which would be 5. Square root of 2 will still be the same. And square root of 4 is 2, and I've got square root of 2 there. So if I have 5 square root of 2, take away 2 square root of 2, I'm going to get 3 square root of 2. The reason is, if you think of it as... 5x minus 2x would actually equal 3x. Okay. So it's, it, you pretty much treat it like um, like like term almost, but except this time it has square, square root symbols in it. Okay. Looking at another example, this time I want to simplify square root of 18 plus square root of 20 plus square root of 45. So again, I need to write them as product, well, a perfect number times perfect square multiplied by number. So 18 could be written as 9 times 2. 20 could be written as 4 times 5. And 45 could be written as 9 times 5. Now I could take square, um, square root of those first numbers. Square root of 9 would give me 3. I've got square root of 2. Square root of 4 is going to give me 2, which means square root of 5 is left over. And finally, uh, square root of 9 is 3, and I've got square root of 5 left over. So just like collecting like terms, um, sorry, I forgot the equal sign, I'm going to have 3 square root of 2 plus, now this would be 5 square root of 5. So if you can think of this as something like, 3x plus 2y plus 3y. And this would equal 3x plus 5y. So because, uh, you know, the x and y are not like terms, likewise, square root of 2 and square root of 5 are not like terms. So you can't really add them together. Okay, getting a little bit more... Complicated, we have square root of 18pq squared minus q square root of 2p. So the first thing we want to do here is we would want to split up the 18. So we're going to split that up into 9 times 2. And we know that q squared can be square root, so we're just going to leave it as it is. q squared p and leave q, two, q square root of 2p as it is. Now, I could take square root of 9, which is 3, and I could take square root of q squared, which is q, which means the two things that I have left over are square root of 2 and p itself. And of course this minus square root of, sorry, q square root of 2p. So this is almost like um, the situation where we faced earlier with like terms. So this is, these are our like terms which means our final answer is going to be 2q square root of 2p. All right, that's, that's basically just um, doing um, addition of thirds, guys. Uh, thanks for watching.